happy Friday! Welcome back to another Friday Faves and this week I do have one nay. Hope you guys had an amazing week. I know it was a really crazy week for me so I'm definitely ready for the weekend just to relax and chill all that good stuff so yeah let's go ahead and jump into my yays of the week so i'm first going to start off with a food related item and i have really really been trying my best to eat healthier cut back on my portions and i'm really pumped to actually start 21 day fix which i will be starting on monday but i kind of wanted to already prep myself a bit with the portions i was kind of watching some youtube videos and the one item which i am really really hooked to this week i've been eating this like every single morning for breakfast with um some fruit either an egg or like half an avocado it's this by the brand ego and it's the ego but this is made of whole wheat and this is actually pretty good at first I was like oh you know it's probably not gonna taste very good but it's actually really good and I just eat it plain I don't even put any butter or any syrup syrup with it I'll just make sure I always have like some sort of fruit like blueberries raspberries cut up strawberries and I'll have it with a hard-boiled egg or half of an avocado and I find that it just really helps boost my um, metabolism because I'm definitely not the type of person who eats a um, larger breakfast. I'll usually just have like my black coffee or some tea and I'll have like just a little something but not really like a, a bigger kind of breakfast but I've been really enjoying this. As for a lotion, I've been going back to this because the weather was kind of warm here in Southern California the past like week and a half or so and I've been going back to this lotion. It's by the brand Jergens. This is the BB Body Perfecting Skin Cream. This is for all medium to deep skin tones and this is actually supposed to hydrate and smooth, brighten and illuminate even your skin tone, visibly firm the skin and minimize the appearance of imperfections. I really love this because it gives the skin like a nice kind of um, like dewy glow. It's not greasy, it's not sticky, it looks very nice on the skin. But I do know now that they have one with SPF which I'm going to get as soon as I finish this one up. But I love the way how it just kind of gives your skin a nice um, kind of subtle glow. I really love the way how it does that and I love the scent of this. So. this was actually a recommendation from my girl Kalei, Kalei Lunganero here on YouTube. Hi Kalei if you're watching. And uh, she had actually mentioned this product I believe in one of her monthly favorite videos and it's a brush cleaner by the brand Sonia Kasha. This is the brush and sponge cleaner and um, I've actually been using this for my uh, beauty well not exactly a beauty blender but like a uh, kind of like a beauty blender my beauty sponge and I really like the way how this cleans the sponge now this one it's really dirty I have not cleaned it but I think it does do a really good job of actually deep cleansing the sponge and it also smells really great that's the thing that I also like is that it has a nice scent to it now the only thing I will say about this is that it doesn't really clean my brushes very well I think it does a better job with sponges which is kind of weird because this is a bl uh, blush, a brush cleanser. But uh, with sponges, I think it's great. For brushes, it's just, I don't know, the times I've used it for my brushes, it just did not work and out. As for a foundation combo this week, I've been wearing it every single day this week. I'm wearing it now. And again, I'm going to have to give it hands down to the Cover FX Cover Drops. I'm in the shade G40. I really, really like this product, you guys. I think it is such a versatile product because you can use it with uh, moisturizers, your primers, um, you can mix it with other foundations, your beauty oils, and basically with this, I know I explained it in my monthly obsessions, but you just take a drop of this. Um, it really depends on what type of coverage you're going for because I know when I mix this in with a primer, which I'm going to link down below my... Um, I have it to, like a demo tutorial how I use this with a uh, with the Cover FX primer. I like to put four drops of that, which I feel like it gives me medium coverage. Five drops, I feel like it gives me full coverage. However, if I use it with a foundation, and this week I've been loving this combination together, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I'm in the shade 220. I'll just put one drop of this into this foundation, and it lasts a lot longer on my skin. I know. Uh, sometimes, especially, you know, I have oily skin, a lot of uh, my foundations seem to just kind of disappear by the end of the day. But you know what, if you guys have the cover drops, try 
adding one drop into your foundation for the day and it lasts a lot longer. It doesn't feel heavy at all. It's actually just pure pigment. So. Favorite eyeshadow palette, which I am also currently wearing today, has got to go to this one from the brand Hard Candy and this is the Natural Eyes Neutral Eyeshadow Palette. And I know many people were saying that this is, oops, this is kind of like a dupe of the Too Faced. I can't remember the complete name of it, but it's their newest neutral eyeshadow palette. I can't really say if it is like a dupe for it because I don't have that palette. But I will say that the quality of this is pretty good. You know, this is an $8 palette. It comes with an eyeshadow primer, which I think the eyeshadow primer is actually pretty good. My shadows lasted throughout the whole entire workday. I think it still looks really great. It did not crease on me. It also comes with a um, eyeshadow sponge and also a black liner, which I did not use. I picked this up at Walmart. I create many looks with this, and I think it's a great um, everyday palette. I've been going back to my... Benefit Rockateur blush. Even though it does have kind of like a florally scent, as many of you guys know, I'm definitely not all about floral scents. This one I do really enjoy. It's like a light pink, but it also has hints of rose gold to it, which I absolutely love. And here's a swatch of it. I hope it is picking it up on camera. On my skin tone, it's very subtle, but it's definitely still noticeable. Um, it's very soft. I absolutely love the effect it has on the cheeks and I am wearing it today. It's been one of my favorites this week. And Batiste. This is the Batiste Dry Shampoo in the scent Floral and Flirty Blush. I don't know why I stopped using dry shampoo um, because there was, well actually the past couple of months I've been basically washing my hair every day which I know, I know it's pretty bad to do that. I have been using it every other day so I don't have to constantly wash my hair and it just really absorbs all of the oil because um, and like I told you guys, I have oily skin. I also have an oily scalp and um, second day hair on me looks horrible. That's the reason why I always have to wash my hair. But whenever I spray this, it absorbs all of my oil. I don't have to wash my hair the next day, which is great. I just have to use this. And another thing I like about it is that it lasts the whole entire day. A lot of other dry shampoos I noticed, they'll only last like the first couple of hours, like the first four hours. And then at the end of the day, it looks horrible. My hair actually looks really weighed down. But with this, I don't have a problem with it. I love the scent of it. Then last but not least for my yays of the week, it's gonna have to go hands down to the GoPro Hero 3. And uh, we actually purchased this because we have a uh, membership now to Six Flags Magic Mountain and also Hurricane Harbor. So I'll definitely be um, vlogging a lot of that for you guys. And to be honest with you, let me let me actually get my other camera. Hang on. So this is my trusty uh, Canon. This is the PowerShot ELPH 110 HS. This is a point and shoot where the lens retracts and. Um, to be honest with you guys, this thing just wasn't cutting it because a lot of rides when you feel like the shock or like the force of the chair like spinning around or dropping from a really high, a really high height, this thing just shuts off on me or the battery, like the door will actually open up, which is not a good thing. I've been really enjoying it because it has a wide angle lens. It's uh, shock proof, waterproof, well waterproof if you have the whole entire case, the waterproof case on it. And it just holds up through a ride. It's actually really, really good. I'm really happy with it. I didn't get the one though that has the, um, the LCD screen on the back, but I think this does the trick because you can definitely still sync it with your phone to see uh, the, the footage and also you can view it live if you want. But as for my nay of the week, it's going to have to go to this shampoo and conditioner duo. It's from the brand Schwarzkopf and this is actually developed by, um, developed with Claudia Schiffer. This is called the Essence All Time with luxurious pearl essence omega repair and moisture shampoo and omega and repair conditioner i gave this about three days of use and my hair all three of those days was a frizz and poof disaster it was horrible i don't know what's in this thing that my hair just did not like it at all my hair absolutely hated these products my hair was so frizzy so poofy i actually had to deep condition my hair to kind of um get it to be not so frizz like because it was really really bad let me tell you it was horrible even if i put it up in a ponytail my ponytail was like 
poofy. So that's everything I wanted to share with you guys for my Friday faves and my name. Please let me know what items were your yays of the week or your nays. I would love to get your feedback and um, I love reading through your comments like I always say. I absolutely love interacting with you guys. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. I've been really, really enjoying Snapchat by the way. Snap me at uh, TwilightChick143. Also, if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a like. It really does help me out so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a really awesome weekend and I will see you in my next video. And I love you guys so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.